Hey everybody, Dave Lindbergh, uh, DB Enterprises in Hong Kong. Just wanted to give you an update on the VM Sound liquid silicon rubber uh, based technology. So we're now shipping four off the shelf units that we've gone to production on our own with, and those are a 40 millimeter, a 13.4, 9.2, and a seven millimeter headphone driver. Now, what's unique about these is we have also variants of a, diaphragm material so you can get either Nomex or aluminum or magnesium alloy or other types of materials are even possible such as Roacel or other kind of composite materials so that kind of leads itself into some of the advantages over traditional either mylar or PET or other uh, glue bonded uh, methods of building headphone drivers in small sizes so with mylar or PET it's, uh, it's inconsistent in production. So you're basically hot pressing several layers of mylar or PET to create a diaphragm. And so the, 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 the thickness is quite varied. So you get a lot of inconsistency in production which translates to issues with changes in SPL from one driver to the other. And it also kind of flaps around a bit. So it creates some phase issues as well. Um, now with trying to glue tiny diaphragms together, uh, the, the control of the mass of the glue is very difficult to sustain, trying to automate and, and add like a tiny 25 millimeter dome to this X millimeter uh, surround that bonds to a frame. That's very challenging to make consistent. So again, it translates to similar problems such as the Mylar domes. So with the uh, LSR uh, drivers, what you really get is, is a lot better power handling, a lot more consistent. Uh, typically twice the amplitude compared to the other styles of headphone drivers and it also has very low THD with that high power handling so that's really good and the consistency of the SPL is very tight usually be around 1.5 dB tolerance uh, from driver to driver to driver which makes it very good for ANC headphones when you're trying to match drivers or just trying to match drivers in any, any kind of headphone application. Um, another cool thing is that the liquid silicon rubber is a lot more resilient against ch temperature fluctuations. So that means the F naught remains very stable anywhere between minus 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. So that's just a quick overview on, uh, again, the technology. But let me, let me edit now and we'll go to a little close up where I'll actually show you a very fine uh, detailed uh, camera shot of how these things are, are very nicely assembled. All right, here's a closer look at the 40 millimeter. Uh, this is the Nomex version. You can see the, the surround design is done in, in three dimensions, if you can see closely there. So this is, this is a diaphragm surround and frame only. Uh, there are full drivers again available. Here's, here's the aluminum version. So you can see the surround has been formed a little bit different in this application. And there also is a magnesium alloy um, dome available for this um, if, if you want. Um, second is the, this is the 13.4 millimeter uh, frame, dome and surround. Very, very small. Uh, that's the Nomex version. You see it versus the US Penny. And then over here is actually the aluminum version of that same 13.4 millimeter size. This is actually in this case, this is the complete driver unit. So all of these here have complete driver units available for sale today. And then down to the, the 9.2 millimeter driver in both Nomex and aluminum dome versions. And then finally, the seven millimeter Nomex and aluminum domes. Uh, seven millimeter is the smallest today. There is the uh, kind of physical limit of uh, the, the molds for doing these surrounds down to 50 micrometers today. So that's a very, uh, very, very thin profile. And of course it can be done in three dimensions, even down in the seven millimeter, you might have 50 uh, at the uh, connection to the diaphragm and then maybe a bit thicker. And as you see better with the 40, it can be contoured and adjusted in three dimensions to suit your acoustic requirements. So um, in the screen above, as I go through these, I will uh, include some, some charts on the different drivers that are available today from VM Sound.
All right, well, so that's some pretty detailed views of, of how, how precise these things are assembled with that in-mold process of bonding dome to a frame in one single shot. Um, so once again, the 40 millimeter, the 13.4, the 9.2, and the 7 millimeter, we're ready to ship, ship samples. Uh, we've even got some uh, mock-up headphones done if you want to have your own listen to it without running it through a, a test uh, fixture. So uh, reach out to us if you want to know more. We've got data sheets, again, samples. Uh, we'll be happy to service you. So, uh, all right, that's it for VM Sound for today. Uh, everybody have a great week. Bye-bye.